Greetings, the Hijabi Gamer here, and several people have asked me for a tour of my gaming setup. So I thought, why not? Let me have a go at it. Because to sum up my gaming setup, best way to put it is organized chaos. Or maybe maintained chaos. I know it looks chaotic, but there is a method to my madness. You just need to know how it works for it to make sense. Because it, it, it just it works, sort of. Now, of course, above the desk, you've got the mandatory Destiny poster. Because one cannot function unless one is constantly being reminded about the most awesome video game of all time. Yes, and as I've said in the past, that female hunter, that's me. One day, I'm going to be her. Cool. Yep, I have two monitors. Now, that's the desk. Below the desk is my desktop, which, in case it's things flood, it's sitting on two books. Um, it's CLX. I've never heard of this brand. Yeah, I'm doing this on my phone. It doesn't like to focus very much. That was the cat. Yes, that's the litter box right over there. That's the cat's bathroom, which is why it's always kept clean. I know if it's dirty, because it's right next to me. Yeah, so this is the, the letters actually light up. As well as this, it looks really cool. Right next to it, this basket here, or whatever, has um, gaming headsets as well as a yoke. Um, yeah, I tend to favor. I do have a wireless headset, but I tend to favor wired simply because I forget to charge the wireless. This thing is cool. It's made by Logitech. And then. That's the subwoofer for the computer speakers that my brothers gave me one year. So it's really, really cool. Um, I'll show you the two speakers above. Now, the desk. Recently I had to use my laptop, so I have the speakers. The Logitech speakers with the subwoofer hooked to the desktop. And I have this monitor hooked to the desktop. This is the laptop, and it's on a cooler. Right here, you can see the edge of it. This keyboard is for the desktop. So sometimes I plug it into the laptop. Um, we got Goose the Cat, Yoshi, Claptrap. That's a Destiny thing. Romulan Warbird. Then you've got two mice. So this mouse is for the desktop. These speakers are for the second monitor. So the second monitor is actually plugged into the laptop for the moment. I also use the laptop, the second monitor, the Asus, for um, consoles. Sometimes I plug it in directly. So I have this here. This. It's an HDMI cup kind of thing. So I can either, this is the cable from the, the Asus. So I can either plug it into the capture card. So this... This is the HDMI from the ASUS. You can plug it into the capture card, or I can use this, because it's to HDMI, and plug it into any one of the consoles. Right now it's plugged into the capture card. This is a portable hard drive for the laptop, because it only has like a terabyte. This is the mouse for the laptop. And these speakers are on this monitor, because sometimes, like I said, I use it for the consoles directly. And it sounds better through the speakers. And this cable here, is this one right here, is actually left over from when I live streamed from PlayStation on Sunday. Hopefully I'll be getting the actual correct cable um, in two days, three days. This is the capture card. It plugs into the monitor. I sometimes switch this cable also to the laptop, so I sometimes plug it into the laptop. Now, next to this chaos is the consoles. So first off, these two plug into HDMI 1 and 2 on the television, which I don't use very often anymore, um, simply because I use the monitors. Now, this is the Nintendo Switch, and see, the way it works is each one of these devices has their own HDMI cable, right? So... This is the HDMI cable for the Nintendo Switch. If I want to live stream or use the HDMI 
the Nintendo Switch on the monitor. This is the HDMI cable for it. This is the Xbox Phoenix with its controller. And um, this is its HDMI cable right over here. Because I plugged that in today or yesterday. I plugged it into the capture card. This is the Xbox One. I can just switch the controller. And here's the HDMI cable. So if I want to use the Xbox One, I just take this HDMI cable and plug it in over there. Down here is PlayStation 4. And this is a controller for the Nintendo Switch. Alright, it's plugged into the Switch. And this is so this is PlayStation VR. And this is the PlayStation 4. So this here, no, this here is the HDMI cable for the PlayStation 4. So I just take it over here and plug it in. Or I put it back. That's the PlayStation 4. Down here is the PlayStation 5. There's the PlayStation 5 controller. The PlayStation 5 camera, which I haven't used in a while. And the HDMI cable for the PlayStation 5. So if I want to plug in the PlayStation 5, I again just move it. Right? So every device has their own HDMI cable. So if I want to use the console, I have to keep switching out HDMI cables. Um, that's the NVIDIA, the, no, the Neo Geo Pocket Mini. Not the Neo Geo Pocket Mini, the Neo Geo Mini. But, uh, and it has its own HDMI cable, so you can plug it in as well. And it's controller. But it has an HDMI cable as well, so I can just plug it in. Underneath that, you have the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360. So here's the controller for the PlayStation 3. I also have this plugged into my PlayStation 3. So it allows you to use an Xbox 360 controller with your PlayStation 3. Because um, I like the Xbox 360 controller more. So this is for Xbox 360 controller. And like I said, again, it has its own HDMI cable that I just plug it in. You can plug it in directly to the monitor or the capture card. And then finally, got the Xbox 360. There's the... This is my controller for the Xbox 360. This is the Razer Sabertooth. So it's got two triggers on the back. Right there. And then it's got these buttons on top, which I love to use. So this is Xbox 360 controller, which is why I have the connection to the PlayStation 3. And an HDMI cable for the Xbox 360. So basically, all I have to do is I can either plug it directly into the capture card, so the capture card goes to the monitor, even if the computer isn't on, you could still pass through to the um, monitor with the capture card. Or, I can unplug it. And like I said, you plug this in to this HDMI, and then you plug it into the console of your choice. So, there, it looks chaotic. But, there is a method to the madness. All right, Each one of them has their own individual HDMI cable. And so I just pick the console of my choice and plug in the HDMI. Everything is plugged in, power-wise, so I don't need to mess with power cords. Um, I did have an HDMI, I do have an HDMI splitter. I forgot about that. This is also plugged into the TV. So the TV has three HDMI, HDMI ports. As those two for direct connection. Or if I want to use this as an HDMI splitter. So it's, it lets you pick. So you you pick one, two, three, or four. So you can have four HDMI cables. Because I have, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight HDMI ports, like options, which is more than the TV has. So <laughs> underneath here, yeah, you can see the PlayStation VR in its case. So, and what you can't see behind it is there's a, um, Ethernet. So I have a splitter that splits it to eight 
so each one of the device so my laptop has an ethernet wired connection desktop wired connection and xbox 360 playstation 5 playstation 4 xbox one and xbox phoenix all have direct hdmi not sorry direct ethernet so should make the internet a little faster anyway so that's that's there is like i said there, if you know how to do it there is a madness to the chaos there's an there's a logic to the chaos just it looks chaotic um if you got any suggestions how i can do it better but this seems to work because all i have to do is like i said grab the hdmi cable of my choice plug it in and go i got all the controllers so everything is together so like the xbox 360 controller with the xbox 360 and everything's plugged in i mean you can see right over here is the power brick for the xbox 360 because that's the only one with a really big power brick anyway thank you for watching let me know what you think and i uh, hope to see you in the tower